you got to give us your best side today. Uh, a couple things. You got to turn around for that. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm oh. just teasing. Oh. Oh. I'm in front. Did you hear that? Didn't you, camera? <laughs> we have a mower down. I sent it up to Skaggs. Uh, they give me a price of fifteen hundred dollars and thirteen. One thousand five hundred thirteen dollars to repair it, and I think we should repair it. Um, what they went in and found is the cylinder head. They dropped the cylinder, replace it. Uh, right now, it's almost hard to get a mower, especially a seventy-two inch. Because I checked it down here, and I think they're a year out. Yep. The trucks are coming before the end of the month. Well. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> Won't be any chips in them, but they'll be here. They're, they're a year old, and we haven't put them on the street. <laughs> so if you guys are okay with that, with five overs. Yeah, I'll well, just go ahead and make a motion to approve that. It's $1,513, and it's through five mower and tractor sales. I'll make that motion. Second. All right, this is to repair the lawnmower? Yes. yes. Correct. Okay. Yes. Mr. Reiner? Yes. Mr. Landon? Yes. Mr. Robinson? Yes. Go ahead, Robin. We have an air conditioning unit that's on top of the senior center. We have three units up there. Uh, we've replaced two of them within the last 10 years. We've got a unit that's up there 23 years old. Um, they're, they're hoping to get 15 years out of the unit, the way I understand. To replace it is thirteen thousand four hundred fifteen dollars, and that's through AirTech, which is a different name now. But they don't want to do all our work. Uh, they can fix it, but it's throwing another Band-Aid on it. How long is yeah. it going to last? Yeah. Right. Um, I don't know how soon they can get to it. That'd be another thing. We got two units working in there, which it's staying cool, but it's not as cool as it should be in there. Uh -huh. Next month, I mean next week, it's going to be hundred degrees. So. This is who replaced the other two, correct? Yes, it does our service work. All the, right. they, they're the same ones that does our uh, service, contract. service contracts. We're going to get ready to bring up also. And you got a question? Yeah. Well, do, no question. Do, do we need to replace? Do we need to know, kind of like the lawnmower, do we need to know if they're going to be nine months? You know, I don't think it's going to be because he, he gave me a quote quite quickly. Okay. I think everything's available. It's just setting up everything, get a crane, set the other one off, set the other one back up there. Um, and I'll find that out tomorrow. I will call him as soon as I can, in the morning. Uh, I'll make a motion that we proceed uh, with mechanical optimizers, home layer, air tech mechanical services. It's $13,415, Cindy. I second it, Cindy. All right. And this is from so, air tech, correct? Correct. Right. Right. Okay. All right. Mr. Reiniger? Yes. 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 The new trucks were told. I talked to him yesterday. They were they were building the last one, so he's thinking before the end of the month. But by the end of the month, the new trucks will be in. Okay. The old trucks apparently sold. I haven't heard nothing from either one of the buyers. So I don't know what's going on with that through the auction. I texted him today, or not texted him. I emailed him. Apparently one sold at twenty nine thousand, one sold at twenty five five. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. We were we got more than what our what twenty four twenty four twenty four. Yeah. So we're we came out of that the six or seven thousand ahead. Yeah. So that's awesome. It's awesome. So if we don't get rid of that we can just keep using it and just deposit the money, but just keep using it. So how that works. No. <laughs> So everybody knows we, we the township, put the two trucks we're only referring to on the county auction website. And that's where we sold the trucks. And what we were going to get on the trade-ins through the dealer, we came out six dollars $7,000 ahead of work on our auction site, just so everybody's aware of what we're And we're maintenance about. gets that, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm going to try here in a minute, Ronnie. I am too. I'm not I doubt done. it. I'm not done, so. The uh, front door out here in the front is a mechanical door. Uh, Kim unlocks it with the computer. Apparently didn't unlock the other morning. There's something broke in there, a mechanism uh, called South, Southern Ohio Door. They came up. I 
caught him here. Actually, they were supposed to come up the day after, but he was here on the way home. He said there was something broke in it. He asked me if I should go ahead and repair it. I thought, well, yeah, but he said they're, they're quite costly. And he told me a quote of $3,500 to replace that panic unit on that front door. And he's saying $3,500 to $5,000. I'm he started out at thirty-five. <laughs> I'm still waiting for a quote from him, so we, we held off on that. Is that just a push bar? That whole bar unit, I guess it goes down in the assembly inside that door. Yeah. But I don't see that much in it. Is maintenance premium you want to talk about now or you want me to talk about them? I'm not done yet, but you I'm can. sorry, what? <laughs> I'm not done yet, but you can. Or go ahead. I'm just saying, with that front door I'm waiting, does anybody I think uh, Mr. Lacey's got another number for a door that they put in, so I'm gonna call him so I can get a second quote. Uh, Memorial Day went good. Uh, everything went good over there. One point was brought up by Mr. Lacey again about having somebody over there for like an EMT. Uh, we yeah. had people fall over there the last three or four years because of the heat. Yeah, we've talked about it already. We've already got that set up, right, Chief? Yes, sir. Uh, the other thing I had to follow up on what you guys were talking about, salaries and everything, uh, I got a question too, because we're having a hard time filling positions too. Jack brought up the point where we said we do pay insurance, but we don't for new employees. Right. New employees are coming in at $16 an hour, and they got to pay 20% of their insurance. They can get a job anywhere in this township other than here for that. Uh, we say we follow county policy sometimes. The county got a dollar fifty raise, and I brought this to your attention at the beginning of the year. We didn't get it, and nobody's told us why. And I I got on the sheet here tonight, Ronnie. I talked to Eric back today to make sure they gave you that raise, and I was going to ask the board for it, see what happened. Well, they apparently I'm talking here too. They're getting ready to get another raise because they're having the same problem that everybody else is not hiring. Nobody wants to stay. They carry a CDL. We don't carry a CDL. We don't have equipment that carries a CDL license. We don't have to have a CDL. I've been told that a few times. Um, if it was required to carry a CDL, I mean, we would have to get them. But our trucks are 126,000 pounds, so we don't have to carry them. That shouldn't hold us back on getting the raise that the county gets. But it is a problem with money. I really think it is. I've lost three real good guys. And they're all at other townships, and they're all doing very well, and they're all making a lot more money. A lot more money. I've got guys that's got 25 years, 25 plus years in here, and they're making $25 an hour. That's that's not good. <laughs> so I just want to follow up on what was being said about the raises and money. So, and you want to bring up the contract? Yeah, I'll just bring them up. I got a, this is just a program maintenance agreement. This is with uh, Fire Station 69, and it's it's as annually the same uh, mechanical optimizer, which is with uh, Air, Air Tech. It's $4,068, and that's an annual uh, fee. I'll make that a motion that we move forward with that. I'll second it. Yes. Mr. Blanton? Yes. Mr. Robinson? Yes. Then I have the same thing, maintenance agreement for Fire Station 68. It's $767 annually. And I'll make that a motion also. Second that as well. And this was Station 70? Six, 68. 68. 68, okay. Sorry. Same thing? Yes. Same price? No, no. $767 annually. Yes. Mr. Blanton? Yes. Mr. Robinson? Yes. All right, any questions for uh, Mr. Miller? Thanks, Ron. With them agreements, I wanted to say on them why maintenance is not the one of the agreements. Or the, they're kind of out of sight, out of mind. That's why I think it's better to have a service unit come in here and do them. We're not at the fire stations, so we don't not there for air filters every day, or checking the furnaces every day. Which I think that's a great idea. Yeah, they come they in quarterly. Yeah, they come in four yeah. times a year, and so. then they call when they do them. So, so just to follow. Yeah, I, I think it's good too. Thanks for okay. that, that comment. Thank you.